spreading corrosion and over you lecture by dr g subramanian chief scientist retired csir central electrochemical research institute fretting corrosion refers to the damage of uneven material surfaces in contact with one another these uneven surfaces also known as asperities appear to be smooth but a microscope would reveal their sharp grooves and rough pits fretting is caused by oscillatory slip and rapid repeated motion that causes contact between the two surfaces or the surfaces are often not designed to touch even the slightest amount of contact for instance an amplitude of motion as little as 3 into 10 power minus 9 meter could eventually lead to fretting corrosion this contact can be caused by vibration under a load or pressure fluctuations in tight fitting parts within the hose industry we often see fretting corrosion on the hose as a result of constant contact with the braid fretting corrosion is a combined damage mechanism involving corrosion at points where two moving metal surfaces make rubbing contact it occurs essentially when the interface is subjected to vibrations that is repeated relative movement of two contacting surfaces and to compressive loads the amplitude of the relative movement is very small typically of the order of a few microns when the frictional moment in a corrosive medium is continuous the resulting process is termed tribo corrosion fretting corrosion refers to corrosion damage at the asperities of contact surfaces this damage is induced under load and in the presence of repeated relative surface motion as indu- induced for example by vibration pits or grooves and oxide debris characterize this damage typically found in machinery bolted assemblies and ball or roller bearings contact surfaces exposed to vibration during transportation are exposed to the risk of fretting corrosion damage can occur at the interface of the two highly loaded surfaces which are not designed to move against each other the most common type of fretting corrosion fretting is caused by vibration the figure on the right top gives you fretting corrosion excessive fretting corrosion and wear on cal- caliper guide pins can result from the using improper guide pin lubricant the word about the term corrosion strictly speaking corrosion is meant to refer to damage caused by chemical attack fretting corrosion is therefore at its most basic mechanical damage however as the two surfaces rub against one another fresh surfaces become exposed oxidation occurs and oxide debris soon forms in stainless steel iron oxide can develop which lends a reddish color to the area affected the image at the right side shows the fretting on a material a word on braid wear depending on the material or application use fretting can have abrasive wear adhesive wear or both abrasive wear occurs when a surface slides across another surface the former having a rougher surface than the later this causes material loss on the softer surface adhesive wear occurs during direct frictional contact whereby both surfaces begin to lose material fragments this type of wear can increase roughness and create protrusions since the fragments cannot escape contact during fretting they further contribute to wear when it comes to metal hose we might also refer to fretting corrosion as braid wear as the relative movement between the braid 
and the horse is an example of abrasive wear the tensile strength of the braid material is higher than that of the horse material about 1000 ksi versus 75 ksi thus the horse is sawed into by the stronger wire which acts like a little knife the image above shows an example of braid wear deep abrasion spots from braid wear you can see fretting corrosion of bearing ring and seat you can see the fretting corrosion experienced by bearing ring and seat friction wear at an axle cylinder contact point you can see on the above figure we can see the friction wear at an axle cylinder contact point factors contributing to fretting corrosion like many other types corrosion and wear the degree of severity on the material depends on many factors including contact load amplitude temperature relative humidity and inertness of the material since fretting corrosion is often mistaken by false brinelling is it important to make a dis- the distinction between both types of wear the main difference is that false brinelling occurs under lubricated conditions which is often used to preventing fretting and fretting corrosion occurs under dry conditions effects in terms of materials combinations fretting resistance of various materials poor average and good in the case of poor you can see aluminum on cast iron aluminum on stainless steel magnesium on cast iron cast iron on chrome plate laminated plastic on cast iron bakelite on cast iron hot tool steel on stainless steel chrome plate on chrome plate cast iron on tin plate cast iron on cast iron with coatings of shellac with average resistance fretting resistance cast iron on cast iron copper on cast iron brass on cast iron zinc on cast iron cast iron on silver plate cast iron on amalgamated copper plate cast iron on cast iron with rough surface magnesium on copper plate zirconium on zirconium good fretting corrosion resistance materials laminated plastic on gold plate hot tool steel on tool steel cold roll steel on cold roll steel cast iron on cast iron with phosphate coating cast iron on cast iron with coating of rubber cement cast iron on cast iron with a coating of tungsten sulfide cast iron on cast iron with a rubber gasket cast iron on cast iron with moly coat lubricant cast iron on stainless steel with moly coat lubricant prevention of fretting corrosion lubricate avoid relative motion add packing etc increase relative motion to reduce attack severity select materials example choose harder component how to reduce prevent fretting corrosion high dynamic cycling applications offer greater likelihood for fretting corrosion especially when contact is between similar metals for instance a stainless steel hose with a stainless steel braid in situation like this adding lubrication can reduce the severity of the fretting corrosion use dissimilar material or if the hose and braid material will be the same introduce a dissimilar material between the two other two surfaces we might do this by adding a layer of loose bronze braid between the stainless steel hose and stainless steel braid which works in the same way as lubrication beyond moment the outside environment plays a significant role in the rate of fretting corrosion and must be taken into consideration when designing an assembly for example in humid conditions the wear becomes less severe due to moisture acting as a layer of protective lubricating film 
ultimately though it is regular maintenance and routine material inspections that will defend against corrosion of all types including fretting and increase the life span of a hose in service lubrication with oils or greases to reduce friction and exclude oxygen from the interface increase in the hardness of one or both materials in contact certain material combinations show better friction behavior than others surface hardening treatments can be beneficial use of steel seals to absorb vibrations and exclude oxygen and or moisture reduction of the friction loads in certain cases or on the contrary increase of the friction loads to attenuate vibrations modification of the amplitude of the relative movement between the two contacting surfaces thank you very much for watching and listening to my lecture with this i am concluding a series of lectures on forms of corrosion